Yeah. I don't know if I'd like to play first. I guess I do, because I don't want him to, but I could definitely use an extra card. Oh, you saying something? Nope, okay. This... This has kind of castable cards. I have... I can cast a Garrick eventually, and I can cast a Metamorph eventually, so I don't think I can ask for much more than that. So I gotta cast Metamorph this turn, so what I'll copy. I think I'm gonna copy the Meteor Heath Pillow one. Because either way, I'm just gonna trade off for something this turn. But if for some reason he chooses not to attack and he doesn't want the trade, then I can maybe like extra flip Garrick and Beast and get two life linkers. So basically, this is just in case he messes up. Dry Plains wasn't bad. I think I would have rather to swamp, but Plains wasn't bad. Okay. That's gross. Okay. <laughs> At least now, whatever land I draw, I will get to play something. Oh, this is disgusting. Then draw it? No, just gonna play next turn? Okay. Okay, I think we just play Garrick, make a 3 3. That way, it doesn't die. And might even let me play Elspeth next turn by untapping. Oh, Garrick. Is it yet? Okay. Equip don't attack. I'd like that. Attacking me. Attacking Garrick. Both attack Garrick. So I guess I will just kill the jitted thing. I was gonna get two counters. Hmm, this is gonna be rough. I guess if he kills my beast this turn, he won't just be able to kill my Zanagos token, so there's that. Alright, so... If I draw a land too, I can just play Elspeth. Not that afraid of this, if he doesn't have a board presence. Alright, this isn't bad, I think. If I just play a Johnny this turn, and just make my guy 4-4 four, four attack.
I guess it's probably not as good as just milking my Elspeth a little bit. Yeah, alright, it's better with my mana too. Now also if I draw another land, I can play like Xenagos Ajani in the same turn, because I'll have like a million creatures in play. Assuming they don't all get jitted, but I'd only need to generate one mana with Xenagos. <laughs> Next turn you make it a 4-4. Four, four. So it's basically an 8-8 eight, eight on his attack step. Uh, huh, okay. It's gonna be... Watch that one. Oh, I see. And he just tapped his mouth. Sure. And you want floating, so you can equip or something. All right. Next turn. Bad. Ooh. Uh, what do I have in my deck that deals with that? I don't know. Oh god. I'm not like stone cold dead to that. So what does that mean I do, though? I think that means I play Zenagos, make mana, use the mana to Demonic Tutor to get the Doomblade thing I have. I forget what it is. Because it's the only thing I can think of off the top of my head that deals with it. So... Can't attack because of Jit. So... yeah, so let's play Zenagos. Or I could just play a Johnny, plus it, play Demonic Tutor. I'm just gonna want this in play, because it gives me a lot of mana, in case I've forgotten something about... I've forgotten about something in my deck. I don't know what to get, let's just get what beach. Um. Oh, Vindicate does it too. So let's Vindicate the JIT. You get Abrupt K and just have options. I like options. Get a Nighthawk that can block, but it's not going to be able to block because you're just going to have more counters. Or maybe it won't. Oh, either way, we just get minus two, minus two, so it wouldn't be death touchy. So go for the throat or abrupt decay. I guess just abrupt decay is a better version. Oh, what about Vraska? Ooh, Vraska might not be bad. Let's see that. Let's get a Vraska. <laughs> Actually, let's not. Oh, yes. Oh, okay. yes, that's fine. <laughs> it's nice that he can't fully level up figure destiny and equip Jit in this turn. Yep. It's probably just hitting me. 
So my next turn to play Vraska, kill it. That's not that bad. I mean, he's going to draw two cards. But I think I'm significantly ahead on the board at that point. What does this even do? Features and relance cards from among them. So nothing I ever want to do. Oh, you are just serious. Poop head. This guy's a poop head. I mean, I guess him losing a card is not that bad. Oh. Wow, Ranger seems quite good in his deck. Sure. Oh, I'm just dead. Oh, he didn't. He chose not to kill me. That was gracious of you, good sir. So what am I going to do? I could play... No, I can't play any two things this turn. Oh wait, no I can. I can make mana with Zenagos. The brother just make it a creature. Because if I play Mega Man with Zenagos, I can play a Johnny this turn too. That's probably worth it. So... I think I still want to plus this though. Draw all the permanent except for lands tokens. That kills all my planeswalkers though. Gives me life though. Life's good. Alright, so. I guess I want to do this first. Even if those creatures it still works, I think. I'll be able to make one mana with Zenagos, that's five, three, four, five, six, I need, oh, I need eight. Alright, this is not gonna work. So I can only play Vraska this turn, I believe. So this lets me... Right, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, yeah, okay, so... Let's make it two, two with haste. get that. At least I have this option now. Like what, well I guess we'll see what he plays this turn. If he plays like, I don't know, a whole hand this turn, I might just do it. Like, make a token. <laughs> Kill everything, play Johnny, jump a guy. That's not that bad. If it kills. If he has like two or few cards in hand, I might just do that. Unless like I can easily deal with it with what I have in play. If I can like hold it off for a turn so I can frosk it, that's probably worth it for me. And these are just normal ground creatures. I'm just gonna beat them with Elspeth and Zangus anyway. And I can eventually just Vraska the jit. <laughs> Oh, Blaze Blaze. Nice. I'm going to my health back too, actually. That's an annoying card. Sure. Five cards of hand. <clears throat> I guess I can just hold this off for a turn, right? 
and then kill it with Frasca. I feel like that's just safer. Uh, that, it kind of makes me not want to play out as much stuff anymore, though. So I'm going to hold back with that. I'm going to play my land, though. But other than that, I don't think I'm going to. But I don't want to minus this, because I don't want the option. So I'm just going to do this. Plus my Vraska. Also, might be a little... Uh, not the most ethical thing to think about, but we are winning in the time race, so the longer this game goes, the more in our favor it is. This... Game 4 life. Oh, I'm sorry, 3 life. I thought it was just in the game. And then I think we'll just pass. I'm just afraid that if I just killed everything there, he just untap and like play something that I can't do with. I'm happy with the decision to get Raska with Demonic Tutor, because it looks like it's going to be two cards. John Goldman. So you're going to have five, so I'm five, three. And your just has no counters? Okay. Well, that needs to die, I think. Actually, maybe it doesn't. Hmm, you're making killing everything with Alphabet look better and better, buddy. Mm, I'm just gonna go. <laughs> win by decking. That's how we're gonna win the game. Yeah. The May. <laughs> nope, just draw two. <laughs> Drawing a removal spell wouldn't be too bad. I actually know that's kind of bad because he can kill one of our guys. So I mean, that's not too bad. He like he'd get one more Johnny out of it. I guess I can also just fly this, but again. Jit. Okay. Hmm. Four, five, six, seven. So I play that. <laughs> Sacrifice my two things to it. Oh yeah, I can't sacrifice that to it. Never mind. Awkward. Alright, what's this thing gonna be at the worst next turn? It's gonna be a 5-3. I can deal with that easily. I can make a bunch of guys. So, let's do that. So, it's plus Fresca. Suspend a Greater Gargadon. Make creatures. Make a creature. Pass the turn. It was not impossible. I mean, he can't really use the skull clamp too many more times. I should probably take a screenshot of this game at the end of it, by the way. I've seen, like, almost his entire deck. I can press it. So you can make this a 6 toughness thing, at the most. So what if I block with everything? What happens? And then, oh my god, so what if I block with 2 and 2? Then you can... Yeah, that works. 
give two, yeah, so yeah, that works. Next doesn't play around the rules well though. But wait, this doesn't either, because he can just kill the two two. So yeah. I guess I could have just chumped and sacked Greater Kagadon. It might have just been Hmm, okay, I didn't think of that. That might have been better. Checking from red and black. Alright, that's a little annoying. That guy's a little annoying too. These are all things. Alright, I am in a little endangered dying in here because he can gun down four to And like either of his other guys is gonna be lethal. Looks like game life with Elspeth. That won't work. Either of his guys are going to be lethal unless I deal with one of them. I guess we'll see what I draw. If I draw the Doom Blady guy thingy, that might be okay. We'll have to see. What does this have? Go away, Frexy Metamorph. So I could. So I can try to kill his jit, we do those things, I can attack him the Greater Argonon. And then make a token, kill everything, play Great Worm, play Johnny. And then kill, oh wait, no, and then just attack him, I guess. Seems risky, but I don't think I can just sit under this forever. So I think I'm just gonna do that. So I start turning permanent. Ah, uh, man, maybe I should. Well, it's bad. If these get flying somehow, I'm just dead. I could just kill the Silver Blade Pond and be safe. Actually, no, I just kill. No, I can't kill that one, because. If I make three of these, he can only kill four, so I have two back to jump it. Alright, yeah, let's just do that. So let's just kill Silver Blade Paladin. At the very worst, no, I can't block that with Carrier right on. I was gonna say I could sack everything to try to block, but that doesn't even work. Okay, then let's make a dude. Or let's make dudes with her. I guess there's a way to kill all these weird devas. Because, like, you can. Because, guy, our red guy can't block him. Stops at Jitkin encounters too. It's pretty good for me.
I almost don't want this thing to come off suspend because I want to keep sitting here doing this. I have to do this for like four more turns, I think. Yeah, if he starts gunning my guys down, I probably wouldn't sack them to Gary Gargadon. Judgment? Sure. Okay. Again, I don't think I even want to break because there's no way I'm winning with damage this game. And if I ever need him for a blocker, I can just make him a blocker. Sure. Oh, yeah. That I'm not scared of. I mean, it is a lethal creature, but you still have no way to get it through. I wish I'd picked up a Gideon this draft. That would be like amazing. As odd as it is, I'm kinda glad I didn't get any blue plane blue walkers or Tammy or any of that crap. Because it would just make my mana so much worse. Uh, okay, I would like to shop drawing land at some point. Uh plus. I think I'm going to play out our junk now. Actually, it's possible I should have done that a turn prior, or a turn or two prior. I feel like he's going to try to kill this Greatborn Muse anyway. So I'm just going to make him do it now. Nope, he just chose not to. That's fine too. Yeah, this guy's losing on the like, decking plan and on the timing out of the round. I mean, I guess if he beats me here, it is not inconceivable that he could beat me in 9 minutes because his deck seems quite aggressive. So why is he playing Day Judgment? That's kind of throwing me off. And why is he playing a Lone Lion when it doesn't seem like there's any forests? Maybe he's thinking because he's playing Ranger, it's like free, quote unquote, but... I feel like the downside of having that in your deck is, or like, the downside of possibly drawing that is greater than the chance of like randomly getting a 1-1 one -one if you've already gotten like your other like four one drops out. So I said I can kill this Greyborn Muse whenever I want to, if it ever gets in danger of killing me. Man, that's not a game I thought I was winning in like the first like, five turns. Alright, oh man, I forgot to take a picture of his deck. No! <laughs> oh well. So, what seems good against his deck? Inquisition seems not bad, because he's got those annoying equipments. For the same reason Ancient Grudge might be. Damnation seems good, Prince Steed seems good. So, all the cards that I want, well, wanted in the deck to begin with, but then took out. <laughs> 
because I have to play like Dummy Rotting. Same thing with Catastrophe. I mean, that's probably just worse than Damnation though. Though I guess we didn't have double black that game. We did have double white, but I think that's an anomaly because I think we have more black sources than we do. Well, how many white do we have? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Why did I think we not have enough white? So this is one, two, three, four, five, five black. I'm sorry, one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, six. Then seven black. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven white. Two blue. One, two, three, four, five red. One, two, three. Four, five, six, green. Sure. I, I don't know if that's right or not, but sure. Um, is there anything bad that is cuttable? Abrupt K and not being able to hit Soldier of the Pantheon might come up, I guess, but not enough to take it out because it seems good against his like, whole deck, basically. Yeah, so there's not really anything, because I can't get any of the creatures, can't get any of the Planeswalkers, so it's basically just my spells. So it's like. I guess I could swap out Rakdos Signet for the Pernicious Deed if I wanted that. I think having Vraska Vindicate Erupt K as answers to his enchantment or artifacts is probably enough that I don't want to bring the Ancient Grudge. <clears throat> so it's basically do I want like damnation or something. And I like I want like that or Pernicious Deed. But I don't think I'm wanted as much as I just want like the fixing. And I think the spot removal is probably better than a 4 mana <clears throat> hard to cast sweeper. Yep.